In Psalm 109 verse 29, Psalm 109 verse 29, the Bible says, Let my adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a mantle. In the book of Psalm 35 verse 26, Psalm 35 verse 26, the Bible says, Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together, that rejoice at my heart. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say every dream of shame in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every dream of shame in my life die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every dream of shame, every dream of disgrace, every dream of reproach, Every dream of setback, every dream of stagnation in my life, die, 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 die. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you don't subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking on a topic. If you see any of these dreams, then pray against shame. If you see any of these dreams, pray against shame. In our opening scripture, the Bible says, May your enemies be clothed with shame. May they be clothed with confusion and disappointment. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about pain. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about worry. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about dishonor. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about disgrace. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about insecurity. When we are talking about shame, we are talking about self-inferiority complex. When we are talking about shame, then we are talking about confusion, frustration, and failure. Are you currently in shame? Have you been embarrassed by a person or been embarrassed by a situation? Have you been crying to God to help you? Have you been crying to man to help you, but none of them is showing up to rescue you from that problem? Worry no more. The Lord Almighty will tarnish that era, that season of shame in your life in Jesus' name. Dreams of shame. A lot of people are daily battling with the dreams of shame. The dreams that make them feel worried. The dreams that make them feel sad. The dream that makes them feel sorrowful. The dream that makes them regret of themselves, regret of their action, regret of their mistakes, shame. I pray for you today, every arrow of shame that have been fired into your life, may that arrow go back to the senders in Jesus' name. Adam and Eve passed through the era of shame. Why? Because they did not heed to the instruction. Why? Because they did not heed to divine instruction. They disobey the voice, the commandment of God. Sin can result to shame. Mistake can result to shame. Errors can result to shame. Causes can result to shame. Wrong relationship can result to shame. Wrong marriage can result to shame. Many people today, they are getting married to the wrong person. Many people today, they are investing in the wrong project. And that is why most of them are roaming around the circle. Why? Because they are not in their place of fulfillment. They are not in the place where God has assigned them to stay, to fulfill their destiny. Shame, shame, shame. This is not the agenda of God for your life. The devil push you into that trap so that they can see your frustration. They can see your calamity. They can see your tragedy. They can see your downfall. I pray every expectation of the enemy concerning your life shall fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, your enemy will be clothed with shame and with the garment of dishonor in Jesus' name. So what are those dreams that could indicate shame, that could indicate disgrace, embarrassment? What are those dreams that anytime you have this dream, you feel this kind of vulnerability to problem, this kind of insecurity. You are having this sense of something bad is about to strike you. Something bad is about to eat your finances. Something bad is about to eat your marriage. You wake up from this dream and what happened to your emotion? You feel, you feel so down. So we are going to tell some of these dreams. Number one, when you are eating 
on the road in the dream, when you are eating on the road in the dream, that is a symbol of shame. It is a symbol of disgrace. It is a symbol of pollution. It is a symbol of failure in your life because the food in which you are eating in the dream is a food that has been assigned, projected by the devil to put affliction in your body, to put sickness in your body, to make sure that you do not survive that problem because that food you are eating is a problem. For some people, that food will cause sickness. For other people, that food will cause embargo. For many people, that food will cause what they call financial difficulty. So when you are eating on the road or on the street in the dream, it shows that the spirit of shame, the spirit of disgrace are at work in your life. What do you do? You have to stand on the word of God and say, I resist the devil. I cancel all their manipulative forces against me. So when you are seeing yourself eating on the road in the dream, something bad is coming. Somebody or your enemy is planning how to harm you, how to see your shame, how to see your disgrace, how to see your downfall, how to make sure that you are confused, you are stuck in one place. Because it is not good for a person or a child of God to eat in the dream. When you find yourself eating in the dream, that means that they have projected something in your life and you need to uproot, you need to purge out, you need to evacuate, eliminate those bad, bad things that may be corrupting your soul, your body and your spirit. What many people do not know about this eating in the dream is that the eating in the dream may not actually affect your head for some people, it may affect your potentials, your virtues, your, your spiritual gift, the gift which God has given you, deposited in your life, you will discover that you'll be struggling, you know, to express those gifts. You'll be struggling, you know, you will find yourself struggling with those gifts in your life. That is another area eating in the dream can cause the consequences of eating in the dream. Take authority against that dream and the Lord will set you free from every witchcraft caterer giving you food in the dream in order to disgrace you and to put you to shame. I pray shame will never locate you again in Jesus' name. Number two dreams that could indicate shame is when you see someone asking you to pull off your clothes in the dream. Someone is asking you in the dream to pull off your clothes, your coat of many colors. Maybe for example, your wedding gown, your favorite clothes, your favorite dress in the dream. Somebody somewhere was asking you, my brother, my sister, my friend, pull off that clothes, pull off that clothes, pull off that clothes. For other people, you'll find yourself wearing an army uniform and somebody somewhere will be asking to pull off that army uniform in the realm of the spirit. Do you know what that means? That represents spiritual nakedness. If you are putting on an army uniform, that represents protection. But if somebody else is telling you to pull off that clothes, it means the enemy, they want to drag your spiritual life. They want to kill your prayer life. They want to kill your faith. They want to take away that authority, that power from you. So when you find somebody asking you to pull off your clothes in that dream, that person wants to put you to shame. The person you saw in that dream was a strong man assigned to put you to shame. Yes, they want to naked you, naked your marriage, naked your finances. They want to make sure that you did not fulfill your destiny. Yes, that cloth represents your wealth. That cloth represents your joy. That cloth represents the good things of life. That cloth represents your vision. Somebody else wants to hijack those visions from you. Somebody wants to hijack your ideas, hijack your wealth, hijack your peace from you. I pray for you today. Anything that the enemy has stolen from you that has left you empty in life, today, may God Almighty restore you in Jesus' name. So if you are seeing somebody telling you to pull off your clothes and you eventually pull off your clothes in that dream, do not take that dream for granted. I beg you in the name of God. Go on your knee and pray. If possible, embark or proceed on seven days fasting and prayers to ask God to replace that lost garment, the garment of favor, the garment of glory, that God should restore it back to you. For a woman, you need to pray that prayer. That could be indicating marital shame. For a brother, 
that dream could be indicating financial shame. You need to pray against the powers that want to put you to shame. Number three, when you see someone putting on your air attachment in the dream, someone in the dream is putting on your air attachment. Yes, that is an exchange of virtue, transfer of glory, transfer of destiny, transfer of star, transfer of your fortune. Somebody you call your friend, somebody you call your best friend, your bosom friend, somebody you trusted, somebody you are taking as a brother or sister, that person is trading on your glory. That person has declared your glory for sale in the realm of the spirit and even in the physical realm. Somebody is selling your virtue. When you see somebody you know or somebody you don't know, when your attachment in the dream, as a woman, the attachment represents your glory, your marital glory. It could also represent your ideas. It could also represent your wisdom. It could also represent your longevity. It could also represent your stability. It could also represent your peace of mind. When somebody is taking that thing from you in the dream, oh no, you need to pray for restoration. Somebody has taken or somebody has hijacked something important from your life. Maybe it could be your child. It could be the front of your womb. It could be your marriage. It's as a result of betrayal from your friend. Somebody that you trusted, you have, you have associated with for many years, but all of a sudden the person is coming against you. All these things are indicators that shame or the arrow of disgrace has been fired against you. Somebody is using your glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, your enemy. They are using your glory. Somebody that knows you very well. Borrow me your attachment. After using that attachment, the person will return that attachment back. Do you know what that person has done on that attachment? And the moment you put it on, it looks as if you are carrying bodies. You are carrying people's burden, people's problems. Maybe that person has a short time to live on earth. Maybe that person is always having these health problems, attack. Maybe this person is passing through one problem or the other. The moment that person puts on your attachment in the dream, in the realm of the spirit, and after usage, the person returns it back. Whatever is that problem that woman is facing must have been transferred into your life. That is why my spiritual father always said, that the Lukoya, owners of evil load, carry your load. You have to pray because there is a spiritual load upon your head that you need to shake very well so that you can be free from this shame that has been harassing your life and destiny. May God Almighty deliver you. May God Almighty retrieve back your keys which have been stolen by your enemies in Jesus' name. Number four dreams that could indicate shame is when you are pulling on the road. When you are pulling on the road in the dream, you don't need anybody or any prophet to tell you the interpretation of this dream because it means shame, because it means dishonor, confusion. Pulling in the dream is a sign that you are losing so many good things in life. You are losing your wealth, you are losing your health, you are losing your peace, you are losing opportunities. Pulling in the dream is a sign that something bad is already operating in your life. It is a sign that you are currently under the manipulation of the wicked. It is a sign that somebody is using something against you that is fighting or troubling your health or troubling every good things in your life. So when you are pulling in the dream, it means that uh, you are battling with shame. You have to pray very, very well. If you are married, pray against marital disappointment. If you are not yet married, pray against marital delay. If you are a man, you always saw yourself, you always see yourself pulling on the road or pulling on your body in the dream. It could show that you are living a life of sin. You have been polluted. Your mind has been corrupted. Your spirit, your body, your soul has been contaminated. What do you do? You have to call on the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you, to purify you, and to heal you. I pray the Lord Almighty will cleanse every mess, every negativity, every problem from your life that is embarrassing you in Jesus' name. Number five dreams that shows shame and disgrace is when you found yourself in a coffin in a dream. When you found yourself in the coffin in the dream, it is a sign of imprisonment. It is a sign of delay. 
it is a sign of promise and fail. It is a sign of thou shall not excel, thou shall not prosper, thou shall not move forward. You have been trapped, you have been caged. A particular cause is restricting you. A particular covenant is working against you. A vodo is fighting your life, fighting your future. You are already in the coffin. You are seeing yourself in the coffin, in the realm of the spirit. That indicates spiritual warfare. That indicates the program or the judgment of the enemy concerning you in the area of health problems, in the areas of untimely death, in the areas of spiritual laziness, in the area of destruction. So when you are being caged or you found yourself in a coffin in a dream, you have to pray. Many good things in your life have been paralyzed. Every good things in your life have been declared dead by the wicked. Maybe the powers are coming from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your foundation. Maybe where you are staying, where you are living, there's what they call this net, network of witchcraft that is fighting you there. And that network of witchcraft is making you vulnerable to all kinds of demonic attack in the dream. You have to pray, Father, whatever I've been tied down, whatever I've been buried, oh Lord in heaven, take me out, take me out, take me out, take me out from the pit of death. I pray every judgment of death that have been passed against you and your children, by the grace of God, it shall scatter in Jesus' name. Number six, when someone is buffing you in the dream, someone is buffing you in the dream, it's a sign of shame, disgrace, and dishonor projected into your life. There's no secret again, no privacy again. People have idea or knowledge about what you are passing through. You are trying to hide yourself, but you discover that your effort is always proving abortive. People now know your problems. Buffing outside. You are discussing your problem to many people. And because of that, they are using that story to mock you. They are using that story to laugh at you. They look at you, they begin to spit. They look at you, they say, can good thing ever come out from this woman? Can good thing ever come out from this man? They've already looked down on you that you can never rise again. Buffing outside. It is the plan of the enemy. If you are a wealthy person, you need to pray very well. If you are a spiritual person, you need to pray very well because when you are bathing outside in the dream, which means that uh, your enemies are seeing you, they are watching your nakedness, they are seeing you, they are enjoying the viewing, they are enjoying the stories you are telling them. Somebody you are sharing your story with, you think that that person will help you. At the end of the day, the person could not even make any effort to help you. That person is always smiling with them himself because that is the expectation of that person against you. So, when you are bathing outside in the dream, it shows that you are currently passing through shame. You are currently passing through difficulty and challenges. You need to ask God, call on God. Let God take away the garment of shame, the garment of dishonor. Anytime people see you, they begin to avoid you. It is the garment of shame that is upon your life. You need to pray, God, clothe me with a garment of security. Clothe me with a garment of protection so that people will not see me and begin to mock me because of my story I have shared with them. If you can pray that prayer very well, the Lord Almighty will cover your shame. I want you to take note of this meaning. If you are trying to get married or trying to do a particular thing, this drink will be a warning sign or red flag against that thing. So you need to pray. Let God guide you. Let God instruct you. Let God speak to you. He knows that you are passing through shame. Cry out to God and the Lord Almighty will take away your shame and give you with the garment of a new beginning. If that is your portion, say, I receive my garment of new beginning in Jesus' name. Number seven, lastly, of the dreams that indicate shame, disgrace in the life of a child of God is when you are selling your properties in the dream. You are selling your properties, your landed properties. You are selling every item in your house, everything in your house, your property, you are selling them, your couch, your mirrors, your bags, anything that you think is sellable, you, you are selling your properties. You are unshining all your properties in the dream. And if in the real life you are having properties, then it is a sign that something bad is coming, like a problem, that it will come like an emergency. 
you will try to seek for help everywhere from your friend from your family and nobody will be there to assist you the next thing that will come to your mind is sell your property sell your property the enemy they want to drain you when you are selling your properties your asset in the dream they want to drain you and if you don't have properties in the real life they want to drain your finances and if you do not have enough if you are if you are not wealthy in the real life they want to attack the source of your hope the source of your blessings the source of your joy they want to attack the staff of your labor the works of your hands selling your properties in a dream it means that there is a cost upon your life already the cost of going back to square one again you have to pray god any voice of darkness pushing me to do things against the will of god i command that power to die in the name of jesus there was a case of a young woman and this young woman is my good very good friend she is married to the glory of god but what happened in her marriage her husband is not staying with her she is staying in another state doing some kind of work but what happened something just came to the mind of this woman and before you know it she began to sell her husband property when her husband came to find out the story now the husband said wow why are you selling my property and that led the man to divorce the woman there's always implication of some things that we experience or some things that we undergo either in the dream or in the reality when you are selling your properties in the dream the enemy want to put you in problem the enemy will trying to expose you to so many things that once you do that thing once you commit that mistake you will regret it for the rest of your life i pray for you the lord almighty will protect you that shame that the enemy is ringing the bell of shame that the enemy is ringing the bell of disgrace the bell of disappointment the bell of depression i pray may that bell catch fire in the name of jesus christ if you are currently experiencing shame in your marriage today may god almighty cover your shame and heal your marriage every situation in your life receive the healing of god in jesus name so the way out of this dream is to surrender your life to christ repent of every known sin confess your sin to jesus christ deal with your foundation attack the power of shame in your foundation break every cause of shame and disgrace at the edge of breakthrough barricade yourself with the blood of jesus christ if this particular dream persists after these prayers then you need to go for deliverance i want you to close your eyes shout this prayer point loud and clear say every dream of shame and disgrace in my life die in the name of jesus every dream of shame and disgrace in my life die in the name of jesus every dream of shame and disgrace in my life die in jesus name every garment of pollution and dishonor in my life i tear it to pieces in the name of jesus every garment of pollution and dishonor in my life i tear it to pieces i tear it to pieces every garment of pollution and dishonor in my life i tear it to pieces in jesus name say oh lord my father correct every of my mistakes today in the name of jesus oh lord my father correct every of my mistake today correct every of my mistake today oh lord my father correct every of my mistakes today in jesus name take this last prayer point oh mercy of god arise and have mercy upon me today in the name of jesus oh mercy of god arise and have mercy upon me today arise and have mercy upon me today in jesus name it is done amen if this broadcast has blessed you share it to your friends and family this is evangelist joshua oreke god bless you